Hey guys, welcome to Scooters, Scooters, Scooters. Today we are going to be replacing the original horn on a Yamaha Zuma 125. I don't know if this would work for a Zuma 50. Um, it's probably similar, but it may not be exactly the same. Uh, so I wouldn't try it if you're not uh, open to potentially running into some issues. So the horn we're gonna try and replace it with is this uh, Nautilus Compact Mini Air Horn. There's several di different versions of this on, on Amazon and eBay. Um, I've got one of these on another scooter. They're really, really loud. It sounds like a car horn or a truck horn. Um, so it's definitely the way to go uh, if you wanna increase the sound of your horn and make it sound a little bit better. So um, this one actually requires you to add a relay switch. So we're actually gonna have to run a wire directly from the battery to um, power this. I have powered it just directly through the original wires on the scooter, but you're very likely to blow a fuse that way uh, if you're not careful and it's not advisable to do it that way. So what we're gonna do is actually install this the correct way um, using a relay and then running power uh, all the way from the battery. So basically what you need to do first is take off the front headlight cover there's a link to another video where we do this to replace the, the OEM headlights that we'll link to now. So that'll give you instructions on how to get all the plastics off and take all this stuff off to get to the point where we're at right now. So first what we're gonna do is open up the, uh, the package here and separate everything out. So if you're gonna try and do this, the first thing to note is this thing is substantially larger than the, uh, the horn that comes with the scooter in original condition. As you can see, it's you know four, five, six times larger, uh, which is why it's a lot louder than what's here. But the problem is, uh, a lot of scooters are you know they don't allow for the space within the body cavity itself um, to kind of uh, accommodate something this large. So probably what we're going to have to do is you know we're definitely have to take this off, probably take this other kind of support arm off. Uh, that holds the horn up and then you know figure out how we're going to create uh, a way to kind of mount this on here with some you know some angle iron or something like that so uh, step one is to basically pull this off and then we'll uh, pull that off and see what we're working with all right so basically all you need for the part uh, we're going to run power from the battery to the actual horn itself is um, essentially just a long wire. I think I just had this laying around. It's probably 16 gauge wire. So you'll need a connector piece that'll hook up to the battery. You'll need a couple of these um, automotive electrical pins. You can get these super cheap at Harbor Freight or AutoZone. Uh, since I have you know, one of these old uh, inline fuse connectors, I'm gonna go ahead and use that as well, just so we have extra protection if there's you know, water or anything that, that gets in there. Um, the fuse will go off before there's any damage done to the battery. Um, so that's pretty much it. The way that you can run the wire uh, is essentially I just took a coat hanger, just jammed it down into this slot here um, where the rest of the wires are running through it, then curved around the back of this piece and then came out on the bottom of the scooter so you can see it poking out here. So the battery box is essentially just right under that. So what we're gonna do is connect the live wire into this junction. Um, it's gonna run through that hole into the base of the scooter. We're then gonna tie it on to this wire with some duct tape and then we'll pull that wire all the way back up to where the horn is and then we should be ready to connect everything. All right, so here you can kind of see where the wire is tied into the battery. We've got this wire all hooked up. Uh, it's connected to the battery. It runs down underneath the scooter. We have now duct taped it to our uh, wire guide, which we're then gonna pull back through and hopefully it will end up at the top of the uh, scooter right by where we need to plug in the horn. So we'll cross our fingers, start pulling this. 
and there it is. So now the wire is running through with all these other wires going directly to the battery. We're ready to cut this off and then uh, connect up the relay. So I think what I'm going to do is actually try and turn this. It used to be straight up and I'm going to try and turn it this way. Um, you know, the sound of the horn actually goes through this little grate, the grill right there. And so what I want to do is orient the, um, the opening for the actual horn, which is this piece, as close as I can to that opening to maximize the sound coming directly through the grate. So the way to do that, because the grate lines up right about here in this area, um, so I want it to kind of be mounted this way rather than this way. So in order to do that and uh, have this be the mounting point kind of down here so this lines up that way, I'm going to have to rotate this arm uh, down. So you can either undo this screw and kind of rotate it around and then retighten it. My screw is stripped so I'm just hitting it with a hammer to kind of knock it down this way um, so it's angled the way I want it to be angled. Now that this is basically hooked up to uh, you know the, the mount that was there, you can see we just kind of turned it sideways and that can, that can sit on that. Um, you can basically just plug in the existing wires from the original horn and it works. But to be safe, I'm going to run a uh, you know a relay switch. So you can leave it like this, and I don't know, maybe it'll work. I don't know the power to the OEM horn, if this is going to blow a fuse and what the ramifications of that might be. This might be fine, but to, to be uh, take that extra step of caution, um, we're going to do a wire running from the battery uh, all the way up here. All right, so now that everything's all connected up, um, we'll put a wiring diagram in uh, the link, but here's the negative, here's the positive, um, you know, kind of all how this stuff all runs, we'll, we'll put a link in. Um, but before you seal everything back up, we'll do one final test. So that sounds good. Now we will um, cover everything up with tape and then seal it up. She should be good to go. So here is the finished product. As you can see, everything is all wired in. We've got a little fuse kind of taped in. You can't really see it's tucked away right there. It's on a 20 amp fuse and uh, everything is now secured. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and put the cover back on.